Hey, everybody. So I wanted to address the question today of is young living too expensive? Hmm. Because I hear a lot of people say, oh, I'm super interested in the products, but I just can't afford them right now because they are too expensive. Hmm. So I'm going to share with you some of what I do and why I think Young Living is incredibly affordable. First off, their products are incredibly concentrated. So this seemingly small bottle of cleaner, um, my first one actually lasted me two entire years. That's pretty crazy. I don't know that I can say that of other cleaners that I have used in the past. And the reason is to make this up, this concentrate, which is still incredibly full, by the way, I just use one cap full, excuse me, <clears throat> and I pour one cap full into my 16 ounce glass spray bottle and I fill the rest up with water and then I use my spray bottle to clean my kitchen counters and my bathroom and uh, I dilute it even more to clean my glass so my windows my mirrors things like that so this little bottle lasts me a very long time mm -hmm. which is pretty amazing and because it's concentrate it takes up less space in my cabinet which is also a win because cabinet space is at a premium, <laughs> right? Uh, okay, so what else have I found or what else do I do? Um, let me grab this one over here. So this is my laundry soap. Again, a seemingly small bottle. It takes up very little space on my shelf. But for our family of four, including two toddlers, uh, one of whom is a little boy who loves to play in the mud and thus produces lots and lots of laundry. And my little girl likes to change, oh, three, four times a day. So she likes to go through lots and lots of outfits. This little bottle will actually last us six months, which is pretty impressive um, because it only takes maybe a quarter capful for an entire load of laundry. So it lasts a really long time. Like I said, six months for our family of four with two toddlers, which is pretty awesome. Oh goodness. <clears throat> uh, shampoo and conditioner. This is actually my replacement bottle of shampoo because the bottle of shampoo I purchased was back in November of 2018. So I have been using one bottle of shampoo for myself and my children for over a year. I still have not opened this brand new bottle yet. It's still sitting in my cabinet, or it was until I pulled it out to show you. But um, yeah, because A, I don't use nearly as much to wash my hair. I use maybe, if I'm having an extremely oily day, um, a dime sized amount. And I wash my hair less. So whereas before with the store-bought stuff, I was washing my hair two, three times a week. I wash my hair now maybe once every week, week and a half, and I use less. So this bottle has lasted me over a year. Um, now what I do for my children, since my husband helps me out and uh, he actually takes care of bath time, he has a lot of trouble using just a small amount. So what I do is I take some of those uh, foaming pump bottles and I pour just a little bit of um, shampoo or conditioner in there and then fill that up with water. And so he just uses the foam pump for the kids, but I actually wash my hair with straight shampoo. I don't use the foam pump. And because it doesn't strip all those natural oils out of my hair, I find I actually wash my hair less and less which is wonderful and saves me money because I haven't bought shampoo in over a year, which is wonderful. And I mean, guys, I can go on and on and on. Um, the dishwashing powder, I actually double it up. So I put in an equal amount of baking soda and, um, you know, it make it last longer that way. So, um, same amount. I just do one scoop like I would if I was using it straight. And 
when I first bought it, I did use it straight. And then somebody told me about the baking soda trick and I'm like, Hmm, let me try that. And you know what? It washes my dishes just as well. And now it lasts twice as long, which is awesome sauce. Ah, uh, my fruit and veggie wash. The first bottle of this stuff I actually did not buy and it lasted me several, several months considering we go through lots of produce. That was impressive, especially since I made salsa this year, which means we bought like 50 pounds of tomatoes and 14, 15, 16 bunches of cilantro and limes and, you know, all the things that go into salsa. I had to wash them all. So yeah, anyway, this little tiny thing, again, a cap full in a sink full of water, soak my veggies for five minutes, rinse those off, put the next batch in and just keep going. Last several, several months, I think this is actually the first bottle I bought because the first bottle I tried, I got for free, which is pretty awesome. This little bottle, little tiny bottle of shave oil um, has been in our house for over two years now. Pretty awesome because it just, it doesn't take much at all. And I like using it mostly as a cuticle oil, especially during the winter. So that really doesn't take much at all. Uh, pain relief cream. This is our first bottle and it's still very full. You know, it doesn't take much. A little goes a long way. Toothpaste. This little tube of toothpaste lasts us, I don't even know how many months. And that's with all of us using it. My kids use the same toothpaste as my husband and myself. But um, again, it's concentrated. So instead of going the long way down my toothbrush, I actually go across. And that's all it takes. Cleans my teeth great. Um, in fact, when I first started, I also used this as my deodorant, so I made it do double duty. Um, I can't remember the last time I actually needed deodorant, but if I did, again, I would just use my toothpaste. Pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. I have been trying the dish soap for free. I haven't, I haven't bought any of the dish soap I have in my house right now. Pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. Same thing with the hand soap. I haven't bought any of this. And in fact, one of these bottles, I pour out two thirds of it, fill it up with water and boom, it's now three bottles. So it lasts and lasts and lasts. My husband's shave cream, still on his first tube. Hasn't bought another one yet. In fact, I forgot to grab it, but my lip balm, a little regular tube of lip balm will last me about six months because I find I don't have to constantly reapply this lip balm the way I did the other stuff that I was using. So do I think Young Living is too expensive? No, no, I don't because the products last quite a while. Um, I don't have to buy them as frequently. And they're super concentrated. So as long as you know how to dilute them, they will last you forever. And I, several of these items I mentioned, I didn't even pay for. I got for free. Young Living gives away free stuff every single month. Every single month, which is awesome because a lot of times it's stuff I would have bought anyway that they're giving me for free because I'm ordering, you know, every month anyway. And then on my monthly orders, they give me cash back in the form of points that I can redeem to get stuff I was going to buy anyway. So I know, uh, like, what is it? At Target, you can get a red card and get 5% back. Well, awesome. If you shop at Target, um, Young Living actually starts me out at 10%. And then after a few months, I bumped up to 20 and now I've been on it long enough. I actually get 25% back, which is pretty awesome. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. So, you know, I don't know of too many companies that give you 25% back on, on your purchases. Um, in fact, they, because I'm a monthly customer, they give me free oils. I get exclusive oils that I can't buy, like that loyalty I was just talking about in a previous post. I can't buy that. The only way to get it is to be a monthly customer. So <laughs> that's pretty amazing. 
But, and then with all of this, I know you're wondering like, how the heck does she afford all that? Guys, it's just called transfer buying. So instead of purchasing all this stuff where I used to purchase it at, you know, at Walmart or Target or the grocery store, I buy it from Young Living now. It lasts longer. My health is improved because the products don't have all those nasty chemicals in it that were affecting my hormones and everything else. My mood's a lot better because my hormones aren't jacked up. And I'm getting points back that I can use for more stuff. And I, it, it's like, I want to say it's a no-brainer. For me, it's a no-brainer. But it's not as expensive as you think it is when you just look at the price and don't realize how long this stuff lasts. I can't say I've had any other bottle of shampoo that has lasted me over a year. That's crazy. <laughs> crazy. Awesome. I love it. So the answer to the question, is Young Living too expensive? No, no, it's not. I've just shifted my spending. So I actually spend less at the other stores that I have to physically go to. And I've moved those dollars into Young Living where I get points back. I get free stuff every month and it gets shipped right to my door. So that saves me gas. I don't have to go to the store. It gets delivered right to my doorstep, which is incredibly convenient. And in fact, I also um, got the priority shipping. So I just signed up for my shipping for a year and I pay less per month. It averages out to less per month than I was paying before. And I get my orders in like two days instead of a week, which is awesome. So <laughs> yeah, um, totally worth it. Totally worth it. And that is what I wanted to share with you today. It is totally worth it. It's not too expensive because this stuff lasts and lasts and lasts. And it's got nothing in it that is going to hurt your health. The way a lot of the things from the big box stores do. All right. So thank you so much for joining me today. If you have questions, if you want to find out more, drop me a comment or send me a message and I will love to talk to you more about this kind of stuff. All right, guys. Thanks so much. Bye.